everyone welcome back to my video again and today we are going to read a story called Paddington let our journey begin I wrote this story that I found from a video called Paddington let our journey begin from a channel called Paddington everything you see is true let's now read a story darkest Peru a place where no one has ever been before until now for I leave my wife and kids to discover what does darkest Peru have and what is like for my documentary and for my database I pack guns chairs food piano television and EDC or others after that one bear came I have to kill him but that bear changed my life he showed me their wonderful land and I showed them my life and what they have like toothbrushes television and even marmalade then I showed them London where I lived the lady bear I named her after my beautiful wife Lucy and that male bear I named him after a famous boxer Pestuzo then it was time to leave my, and say my last goodbye to Lucy and Pestuzo. Goodbye, Lucy. Goodbye, Pestuzo. And if you want to go to London, you can see what does my life had. Then I leave to share my documentary to my wife and daughter. Ma'am. One day, Lucy and Pestuzo went fishing. And when they saw in their own eyes, a bear was on the river trapped in a log and Lucy and Pestuzo were saving the bear. I think we have to take care of him, said Lucy. Pestuzo agreed. Years passed and the little bear grown up. Marmalade! Marmalade! said the little bear. Slow down, little cub, said Pestuzo. They're ripe! They're perfectly ripe, said the little bear. Yes, it is, said the Pestuzo. Marmalade! 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 shouted Pestuzo and the little bear. Marmalade! All the fresh amounts of vitamins and minerals a bear needs for a whole day. And mm, this is delicious, said Lucy. And your aunt's marmalade is delicious and rare, said Pastus as he tasted the beautiful, majestic, and glorious marmalade. One night, the bear listened to one of the lessons on the record player. Until it's an earthquake! Prepare in safety position, said Lucy. Pastuzo wanted to save the bear's life, so he got out. Three and four eight minutes later, or three and one half minutes later, the earthquake had stopped. Lucy and the Pastu and the little bear were looking for Pastuzo, and when the little bear found Pastuzo's hat, he really realized that Pastuzo had died to save the bear's life. Lucy and the little bear were sadly sad when they found out. The bears were sailing towards the port of Peru. Lucy was dropping off the little bear. What about you? said the little bear. I'm too old now, little bear, but don't worry. I'll be saved at the home of for retired bears. But you are not retired bear yet. Go to London. Find your own home. Make some friends. You have a future to find, little bear. Oh, hurry up. The ship's leaving soon, said Lucy. So the little bear said his their last goodbye and sailed off to find his future on London. One day the little bear came to a station called Paddington Station. Many people do not care for the little bear, but one family called the Browns came and cared for the little bear. Mrs. Brown said, We should adopt you, little bear. Five is better than six. Henry Brown gave the little bear a name called Paddington, and Paddington was introduced to Mr. Brown and Mrs. Brown's kids called Jonathan and Judy. So Paddington had found his future, his new home, and family. As Grandma Betty says, for finding your mother, father, and family, there is one special task. You must look for the creature who loves you the best. The end. So, everyone, do you like my story? If you do, leave a comment and subscribe.
and click the bell so i will see you next time on my video catch up my new music video from minecraft and i'll see you next time every hey you two have you discovered all the features in part one of the caves and cliffs update well, there's brand new colored candles and the lichen makes rocks glow. You'll find some amethyst if you look inside a geode. The plants grow into clusters and you get shark when they're mine. Ah! Please click a stuff you love all the things that are too fine. Like jump up on some drift, please make your house from these. Spending too much time in powder smoke will make you freeze. You can find rock hoppers, pop some ingots into blocks. A lucky rod and pop this rock will stop you getting caught. It dies, but to stop it, make it wax. Crap your raw ores into raw blocks if you've got too many stacks. <coughs> you can find some bottles in the water underground. Put them in your pocket, you can carry them around. There's postmates way down here, they fill their caves with lines. Make a sign using their ink, make the glow frame super bright. There's scripts, stone blocks, and deep slate versions of the ores. There's so many things here to explore, there's so much more.